to start off by saying that I had this in photo mode and took a picture of myself instead of pushing record. Anyway, so welcome back to the channel. I am working with that. Alright. I am working on a 2002 Dodge Dakota rust bucket. Um, I have pulled out. Um, letting this guy know that his ball joints are or wore out and no more grease in them and then uh yeah that one up there also wore out with no grease in it um ow this whole thing is just a piece of junk pretty much it's got some rattling noise on this side um i actually don't know what the rattling noise is actually i can already tell you now it's shocking blowing the crap out but that could be part of the rattling noise uh, ball joints bad on this side as well uh, probably the top two but on top of all that um, this truck is just a piece of junk pretty much it is time for it to go sit in somebody's yard or go to the scrap yard honestly uh, I don't see what he was talking about he said there's a rattle at this on this side I don't know but anyway I did uh, brake lines I did uh, all new brake lines on the front of this thing, all the way from the master cylinder up top down to these two blocks, one for the front brakes here, this one's for the rear brakes, um, and then all the way to both sides, including, uh, including over here to the passenger side. But anyway, um, I didn't feel like making a video of that to be honest with you. Gosh, a cute little cat, I think tiny. But what I did do, I do what I am gonna make a video on, is the gas tank straps back here. Um, this one here is completely rusted away. Like it's that's the only thing that's holding it on here. Uh, so a quarter inch. I mean, a full tank, one good bump, and that's gonna break. And it puts all the stress on this rear strap back here. But anyway, what I'm going to do is walk you through real quick on how to change this. And I'm going to let Eddie get back to his music. Alright y'all, so as you can see, I have it on a slow time lapse. Um, so the 15 minute job doesn't, you know, you don't have to sit here and watch for 15 minutes. Anyway, I got that first strap off. The, uh, the strap that was the worst. <clears throat> the back strap actually was not rusted anywhere close to being like all the way through. Um, but they come in, you know, packs of two, so why not? I had some rust fall in my beard, like a bunch of it. As you've seen there, I was flapping my beard, trying to clean it out. Um, both of those bolts on there were pretty rusted. So you'll see me in a minute, I believe. I don't remember actually. Um, you'll see me uh, putting some new bolts or not new, or used bolts and retainers that we had laying around. But I had to move the tank uh, to get those straps out. I didn't like the uh, concept there, but you have to basically turn the strap uh, 90 degrees. As you can see, I've got it out there. You had to turn the strap 90 degrees to get it to slide through, through a slot, which makes no sense at all. Um, so you can turn it 90 degrees. And they were rusted on the ends. There's the brand new ones. Looks way better, that's for sure. Um... So, here is the part number for these straps. Once again, 02 Dodge Dakota. Um, getting new one then uh, wasn't, wasn't super bad. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble just because there wasn't quite that much room for the gas tank. Um, the rear one, oh yeah, by the way, you can see now I have some safety glasses on. The only ones I could find were the tinted ones. Um, I did end up getting some rust in my eyeball um just very little but i got it out as soon as it hit i didn't blink didn't scratch just went to the bathroom use wet q-tip get it out but um yeah anyway so getting that one's the one that gave me problems the front one so basically like on a chevrolet the slot is made different where you can just kind of go up and over and it slides down into like a retaining v almost or a u-shape these have a straight slot that you have to line up a certain way and slide it in there 
and then you gotta turn it 90 degrees to get it locked down in into the frame um which is stupid i don't like it didn't like it at all so i took a flat screwdriver and beat the crap out of it till it fit but yeah and then this is the second problem that i had getting the heat shield protective shield back in there um because i did not have actual studs and retainers putting these straps back in you'll see it here in just a second when i move the uh the light they, they didn't quite line up right but i was able to still get them in with a little bit of persuasion um i am actually gone at the second this moment here i went to go get some bolts and retainers so you can see the retainer oh there we go i moved it see that retainer up there in the hole um take a screwdriver pry it out of there it was being a pain in the butt there's no room in there hardly to let me move but used retainer that we had laying around but with a much much better shape got it up in there um, i tried a retainer on the front that was a little different it actually ended up not working um, with the bolt that i had let's get this one out of there um, yeah so so far in this process i'm actually probably i don't know 15 minutes in maybe a little bit more and y'all have only been watching for three minutes so the fast uh, time lapse for me and also for my viewers i don't when i'm watching youtube which i don't i mean i don't watch regular tv at all i only watch youtube i can't stand watching movies i can't stand watching stupid shows and stuff if it's not reality kind of stuff as far as you know people on youtube mess it just feels like a waste of time i don't I'm not learning anything if i'm not learning something i don't want to watch it but um i got that bolt in there i felt it slip a little bit on the threads and so pretty sure it was the retainer itself um, it looked fine the bolt seemed like it fit fine but i felt it like strip out just a little bit obviously i mean i am using a, an impact but i know how to use a trigger um to keep stuff from breaking yeah i try to get a hammer in there to kind of move the strap as you can see the bolt is a little the bolt is in there crooked a little bit i was trying to just get it to line up right there's no real good way to do that but anyway so i tap on the strap to get the bolt to come out it was just sitting there and i couldn't get it any load on it or not load but a, a hold of it so i kind of finagle this clip a little bit and get it to line up much better so that i can get the um the bolt in there Oh, and also I forgot about that. I bent that just a little bit to get the, the angle correct to get it to go up in there. And it finally went. Pretty aggravating. So I moved this to hold pressure on the strap so that it stays up there where I need it. So I didn't have to fight too much with it. But I went and got a different clip. And another bolt, I believe. Yeah, I didn't get the same bolt. The bolt looked fine, but as you can see, this bolt didn't fit i was trying to use a bigger bolt to fit that um that insert clip so i found myself a better clip and another bolt let's run that up in there and voila all done and now let's switch back over and i talk to you about the nuts and bolts and all that good stuff All right, y'all, that took a little bit longer than expected because I had to find some hardware to go up there because the old stuff was just trash. But anyway, I got some clips that I found that I've had for a while. I had to go steal one from Courtney. But, uh, yeah, got it up there. That side over here was a pain in the butt. And um, But I got them up in there. I mean, it wasn't easy. The biggest... Oh, hold on. The issue is... The way they slide up inside of that slot right there. So you see that slot right there? There's another slot. Can't see it over here at all. Nope. But that's the problem. Is they have to slide in that slot right there. And with the tank in the way, it's really hard. So long story short, it could be done on the ground, but you probably have to take the tank out or most of the way out. I probably could have disconnected and at this moment eddie turned the music back on so anyway thanks for watching i do greatly appreciate it and give me a thumbs up please if you uh like this video 
and please give me some feedback on uh, the voiceover. Um, I'm not very good at it, but it's a little bit better trying to explain stuff like this when there's music and stuff in the background or lots of noise like sanding and stuff. Here's the part number one more time. Again, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And as always, I'll see you next time.